And that was the absolute last time I ever allowed Bring Your Ferret to Work Day. What? Oh, it's time for Ask the Meat Maker. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky, the Mead Maker, answer all your questions about mead, drinking mead, making mead, and really, probably any question that you will send to me. I'm going to jump right into our virtual mailbag. We got something from the Twitter machine, at Han Laughs A Lot asks, what do you drink er mead out of? I can only assume you mean what do you drink your mead out of? And the answer is really almost anything that will hold a liquid. Right now I am drinking out of a pint glass. I have been known to drink out of one of my homemade wooden tankards. Uh, mug that my mother gave to me. Uh, more often than not, right out of the bottle. The real answer to the question is, it's my mead, so I drink it however I like which in this case is out of a pint glass. If you buy it, it's your mead. Don't let anyone tell you that there's one piece of glassware that's correct for your product. Question number two. Emily asks, what's your favorite batch of mead that you've ever made? And I wish I could say all of them because that would be a politic answer. But the real answer to the question is, when I was still home brewing, I made a batch of heather saffron mead, which was incredible. It was 22% alcohol. It was almost like drinking liquid gold. I like making mead now because I have a clean in place system that cleans up all of my yeast residue and all of that junk for me when I am done. But for the actual brewing process, really being a home brewer is, is frankly where it's at. Our next question is apparently an audio submission uh, from Jonathan Smith. Are you drinking out? Are you drinking out? All right, Rebecca, that was that was not an actual audio submission. Props for knowing that Jonathan, Jonathan Smith is the proper name for Lil John, the rapper. Uh, that was a clip from Shots, the popular LMFAO song. Uh, being that I am a world-class fan of indie crunk rock, however, I will answer the question. Right now I am drinking on rooibos mead which is one of our Frickin Fridays. Every Friday here at Grenfell Meadery, we make something special that you can only get in-house. Usually you can only get little samples of it, but I am the mead maker, so I get over however much I want. Our final question this week is submitted by Amy, who is a lichenologist at Iowa State. Oh my God, I hope it's about werewolves. Go. So they used to make beer out of lichens. Have you ever considered making meat out of lichens? So apparently a lichenologist is uh, somebody who studies lichens and not lycanthropy, but I will answer the question anyway, Amy. Thank you for your submission. No, I have never made a mead with lichens. Um, should I? Does it, does it add anything to mead? Please feel free to send us another video if you have an answer. Well, that ends the question segment for the week. The last thing before I let you go is our word of the week. Our word this week is flocculation. It should be down here somewhere. Flocculation is how yeast falls out of solution. Flocculation is just a way of saying high flocculation, the yeast falls out well, and you have a very clear final beverage for the most part. Low flocculation would be something like a half of Weizen, which we have a picture of here. But that aside, the reason I really like the word flocculation is I like to throw it in at parties in a really inappropriate way. Like, you want someone with high flocculation, you should talk to my Uncle Gary. And leave the population wondering if they don't know what I'm talking about or if I don't know what I'm talking about. And with that, I have been told that I'm all out of time, so please keep sending your questions, your video, your audio clips, anything you like, and I'll do my best to get to them. See you next week.